Assalamu alaikum grade 3 how are you all this is your mathematics class and i am your teacher ms in my last class we have started area and perimeter and today we are going to start area in square unit on page number 273 all right so how can you find out the area see here they are showing you the area in a form of d shape so how you will count it you will count it like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 so each d is one square unit it's mean it's representing one unit one square unit all right and a square means of course you know the shape of a square square has all sides equal all right one square unit that is one Two, three, four, five, six. So each D contain six square unit. All right. Now come to the two. See here they are showing you the half. Half means when you are counting half and half, it will become one square unit. So that's why they are showing you. Now again you will count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9 and 2 halves means this half and this half make 1. So total it will be 10. 9 plus 1, 10. So the area of figure E is 10 square unit. Alright, in this way you will do it like this. Now come to the next here. Again on page number 275. Again you have to count the square units. How many square unit in figure F and how many square unit in figure G. So again you will count it like this. I have told you half and half means make it one. So you will count it like this. Half and half may make one. And then you will count it like this. How many square units are there and count it and mention it here and here. Alright, this is very simple and easy and I hope you understand and you can easily do it by yourself. Alright, now come to the verb book. Verb book of your 3B, page number 129. What is the area of each figure? Again, you will count it like this. A figure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you will write it area of figure A is 7 square unit. In the same way you will count it in B and then C and then D and write it here. So it's very easy and simple. So you can do this page in your homework page number 129. Alright. Come to here. Circle the figure with the largest area and cross out the figure with the smallest area. Each has a one square unit. So you will count it like this one, two, three, four. So you will write it first write the square units all in all shapes and then you will just do the largest and smallest. Okay, I hope you understand this thing and you will solve it by yourself. Now come to the page number 131. Again in this page you have to just count it and remember half and half make it one. So you will just mention it like this. It's half and again it's half. So two half make one and then count the boxes which are given to you here in A, B, C and D and write the square units here and then you have to write the greatest area of course when you will count it you will find out the greatest area all right in this way you solve this pages by yourself and we will meet inshallah in next class take care Allah Hafiz.